I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on exponential equations. We will take up five exponential equations to understand the concepts for solving such equations. The question here is to solve and check for extraneous roots. 8 times 3 to the power of 2x plus 3 equals 24, 2 to the power of x equals to 3 to the power of x minus 1, 2 to the power of 2x plus 2 to the power of x equals to 6, 3 to the power of x plus 1, plus 56 times 3 to the power of minus x equals to 0, and last, 4 to the power of x equals to 3 plus 18 times 4 to the power of minus x. Now, the last three examples are kind of quadratic equations, and uh, 2 to the power of x equals to 3 to the power of x minus 1. We have different base, so we need to use logarithms to solve this equation. And the very first one could be straight away solved. So let's begin with the very first one, which is uh, 8 times 3 to the power of 2x plus 3 equals to 24. Now we can divide 24 by 8, so we get 3 to the power of 2x plus 3, which is 24, I mean, 24 divided by 8. So we get 3 to the power of 2x plus 3 equals to 3. So that means the exponents should be same, or 2x plus 3 equals to 1. Then we have 2x equals to 1 minus 3, which is minus 2. And that gives you x equals to minus 2 over 2, which is minus 1. So the answer for the one, the very first one is x equals to minus 1. Okay? These steps are absolutely clear. You have solved many equations with just uh, with exponential equations without using logarithms so far. Now let's take up these examples where logarithms may be required to solve exponential equations. So here is the second equation, which is 2 to the power of x equals to 3 to the power of x minus 1. So we need to take logarithms both sides. So we get log of 2 to the power of x equals to log of 3 to the power of x minus 1. Applying the properties we get x times log of 2 equals to x minus 1 times log 3. Now we can isolate x with a couple of steps here. We have log 2 equals to x log 3 minus log 3. Now log 3 is a constant. Let's bring this log 3 to the left side. So we get x log 2 minus x log 3 equals to minus log 3 and taking x common we get log 2 minus log 3 equals to minus log 3 and here we can find what x is so we get our answer which we could write on the right hand side as x is equal to minus log 3 divided by log 2 minus log 3, right? Or we could also write this as with a positive sign changing here. We get log 3 divided by log 3 minus log 2, right? So that is how you could solve this equation. So taking logs help us to solve equations where the base is different. Let's take up the next example which is 2 to the power of 2x plus 2 to the power of x equals to 6. Bringing 6 to the left we get 2 to the power of 2x plus 2 to the power of x minus 6 equals to 0. Now we can make a substitution so we say let p equals to 2 to the power of x. In that case p square will be 2 to the power of 2x. Perfect. So replacing or making this substitution, we get p square plus p minus 6 equals to 0. Now that can be factored. 
So uh, we get 3 times 2, so plus 3 times p minus 2. So that gives you two solutions. The first one here is p equals to minus 3. The other one is p equals to 2. So these are the two solutions in p. But p is equal to 2 to the power of x. So we'll substitute 2 to the power of x and then find x, right? So in the exponential equation, if you write uh, 2 to the power of x equals to minus 3, since p is, p is equals to 2 to the power of x, correct? So if you make this substitution, there is no solution. So that is the extraneous root, right? The other one is the correct answer, p equals to 2. So we can write 2 to the power of x is equals to 2, and that means x is equal to 1. So we have one solution to this equation, which is x equals to 1. So that is the only solution for this particular equation. Perfect. So there could be extraneous root. You need to check for that. Now here is the next question. We'll need to solve 3 to the power of x plus 1 plus 56 times 3 to the power of minus x equals to 0. Now the first step here is to convert the equation into the quadratic form. Let's see how. So we have here, let's substitute 3 to the power of x as p. In that case, we can write this as p plus 1 plus 56. Now, 3 to the power of minus x will be 1 over p, correct? So we can write here times 1 over p equals to 0. Now, multiplying by p, what do we get? We get p square plus p plus 56 equals to 0. Now, let's try to solve this equation. Uh, we cannot factor it, but we can try the quadratic formula. So we get p as equals to minus 1 plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times ac, so which is 1 time 56. Clearly, what you notice here is that within the square root, we have a negative term. Since b square minus 4ac is negative, we have no solution. So this equation does not have any solution. Let's move on to the next question. So what we have here is 4 to the power of x equals to 3 plus 18 times 4 to the power of minus x. Okay, so let's rewrite. We have 4 to the power of x. Bringing the terms to the left side, minus 3 minus 18. And that could be written in the denominator, right? So we could write this as 1 over 4 to the power of x equals to 0. So that gives you the equation 4 to the power of 2x minus 3 times 4 to the power of x minus 18 equals to 0. Now let's make the substitution that let 4 to the power of x be p. In that case, 4 to the power of 2x will be p square. So we get p square minus 3p minus 18 equals to 0. Now we need to factor this. 6 times 3 is 18, so you could easily factor. So minus 6 times p plus 3, that gives you product of minus 18 and sum of minus 3. So that means that p could be equal to 6, or could be equal to minus 3. So we'll actually work with p equals to 4 to the power of x, right? So let's figure out what x is. So we have 4 to the power of x, which is p, is equal to 6. Now to find the value of x, we need to take log both sides. Taking log, we get log of 4 to the power of x equals to log of 6, that means x times log of 4 equals to log of 6, or x is equals to log 6 divided by log 4. So that becomes the exact answer. 
in decimal places, let's use the calculator. So we have log of 6 divided by log of 4 equals 2. We get 1.292. Right, so that becomes the answer for x. Now, as you can see, we have exponential function equals to p, so this is not valid, right? So it, that is extraneous. And p equals to 6 provides us with the right solution, and the answer here is x equals to 1 point, we can round to two decimal places, 2, 9. So I hope with this you understand how to solve exponential e equation using logarithms and uh, converting them to quadratic form. Some of the roots may not be the correct solutions, so they are called extraneous root. Keep that in mind. I hope it helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.